Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to join my paid channel membership, you can do so by clicking the link in the description bar or the join now button. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Sometime you do have to go to your desktop to join. Um, and I think it should be on my about me tab as well. But anyway, nevertheless, really quickly, I have baby Katie Lauren here. And um, I was going to talk about really quickly, like, how do we know, like, which baby is the one? You know what I mean? Like, you know, we get all these babies and um, some of us collect a lot and we have like a revolving door. So, you know, we get a baby, we sell a baby, we get a baby, we sell a baby, we get a baby, we sell a baby. Sometimes we sell all our babies, start all over again. Um, every now and then it's one that just stick and you never let that one go. Um, I think when we first do a box opening, it's so much adrenaline that runs through us uh, from the excitement of something new, a new, a new packages, new clothes and all the other little trinkets that come with the doll itself and then the doll itself and it's just you know we're just overly excited and then you know now we get to dress this new baby and over the next few days it's just excitement 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 after a week or two you start to calm down a little bit and either you're still very excited or you're kind of like oh okay new baby ha huh. you know and you're looking at something else um, sometimes you're looking at something else, but you're still in love with the ones that you have. Sometimes you're looking at something else. I'm like, eh, I should let this one go. But, you know, for me, if I get new babies and I still gravitate towards one particular baby, I know that baby is the baby for me. Or if I get, you know, um, if I have like right now i probably have about 15 babies in my collection if i have like 15 babies in my collection but i only have this one or two that i take with me you know into different rooms or um the one that i have to look at all the time is usually the one that i think i'm more um in love with you know during that time um, it's funny because like Taraji is a very personal baby. I'll show you Taraji. Taraji is right there. So Taraji is a very personal baby, but I don't really interact with her on a day to day basis. I love to see her sitting somewhere or whatnot, but she's not the baby that I go and, you know, want to dress every day or pick up every day or any of that. Um, Lauren has been in my room, actually in my bed right beside me since I put her together. I don't know if she's ever slept in the nursery since I made her. Um, at one point her and Zora was in my bed. Don't worry guys, I have a huge bed. Um, Zora was sitting up and how Zora ended up in my bed, she was sitting on the little, like, little thingy that was, you know, at the end of the bed. But when my grandbaby came over, she decided she was going to start pulling her stuffing out because her head was off, of course. Um, and so I put her on, on the top of my bed because my bed is high up. So I put, put her on top of my bed and then she just never, I just never left her moved her from there and then I end up changing her clothes a couple times with no head yes I know weird um and I just like seeing her sitting there when I came in so she was in there for a while in fact where is she is she in there now where is where is Zora I don't know where Zora is oh Zora is sitting on the end of the bed so I'm like where is Zora oh no 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 Zora's in here there's Zora Lord have mercy. I can't remember. One minute the next one. Zora is actually right here next to Joey. Um, in the little toddler corner. That's what I call it for now. Um, but yeah. So, But I tend to pick up Zora out of my big babies more than any of my babies. 
which is kind of crazy. Um, because you would think I'd pick up um, Taraji. Um, however, when I want to like really pose a baby and stuff like that, or display a baby, you know, in my living room or at the high chair or something, you know, Taraji would be my girl. Um, it's like every baby have different purposes, but yeah, you kind of know the one that you interact with the most is the one that you like the most, the one that you would probably miss if they were gone. Um, another thing is if you notice, um, Katie Lauren has on this weird outfit, like it's, it's not really matching um, and she her hand mitts are not matching or anything she's like my real kid like she doesn't I don't have to match her or anything it it was cold the temperature dropped and it was really cold and I just grabbed a few th the first few things that I found in my that was already in my room to put her on some clothes because I wanted her I didn't want her to be cold so that's how she ended up in this little outfit that onesie was actually new and those tights come from H&M, I think. And um, I would had them for a little bit. But yeah, so um, she met, I, I, I don't always, you know, dress her up. She doesn't photograph well, I don't think, as far as like videos and stuff. Um, I feel like her color kind of don't pick up as well um, but she's absolutely one of my favorites and you guys know if you are new to the channel you maybe you don't know but um, she is the one baby that I kind of locked myself up um, turned off my phone and you know during a time when I lost my grandmother and I didn't um, I didn't talk to anyone, my kids, nobody, like nobody. I, I, you know, fought for, you know, some time. I, I just didn't interact with anyone. Um, Gabby, of course, yes, because she's here and she's young and, but, you know, I think even during that time, Gabby kind of figured mommy needs some time. Um, so she, she didn't really come to me for as much, but this was the baby that I worked on and I just kind of got lost into to this um, during that, that time. And so she's very special to me and that's why I named her Katie Lauren because Katie is my grandmother's name. Um, some people called her Kate. My grandfather called her Kate a lot. Um, but so she she became a very special baby just because of that and i just feel like the the energy and the love that i poured into her just i don't know it's just it's i feel that when i when i interact with her like i i feel it when i hold her and she's weighted so nicely like i hate to like <laughs> i hate to take i hate to take her i hate to take her head off to get her rooted but I'm gonna have to do that eventually because I really wanna see her with hair. I think she's gonna be just amazing with hair. Um, but we'll have to see. I, I, like I said, I sacrificed my spot of getting her rooted for um, one of my customs. But Hopefully the rooter has time soon after that baby, but we will see. Cause if that's the case, I can just send her. And the good thing about that rooter is that with vinyl, she doesn't take that long to root. So she won't be gone too long. That's one of the main reasons why I want to send her to that rooter and not the other rooter so that she can get back fairly quickly because I like I said I haven't had I haven't had anyone um, I, I don't even have my to be honest I don't even have my uh, my dolls like that in my 
bed. They're usually in my room, but I don't, it's been a long time since I did that. Like really, to be honest, like they're usually just in my room. So I think I almost feel like back in a child mode when I have her in my bed, like because that's what I used to do when I was a little girl and I had all my dolls. I would pack like all 20 of them in the bed with me in a little twin bed at that. And um, yeah, um, but yeah, she, she's usually right there, right next to me. In fact, this morning I kept feeling like I bumped into something. I'm like, what is, and I realized that, oh gosh, I've, it's like that's 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 Lauren. <laughs> so yeah, she she's right there. Um, I don't know. It's just a little comforting. Um, I'm still trying to process everything. So, but yeah. So that's 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 my my girl. And I know it's a million of them out there, but. She's still my favorite, and I think this scope is like just amazing, and I definitely can see why everybody is like collecting them. I think even some of us that usually like don't want the same doll as everybody else, you know, is still like going crazy over over her. Um, Bonnie Brown has a, a very particular style, and it's funny because. Um, a lot of her dolls, her sculpts, kind of repeat some of the same styles, but she, but they still be so very different. Um, I noticed um, that her legs and Chase legs are very much alike. Um, they even have this little, same little uh, sculpting indentations or whatever on the thigh area. Um, he has that as well. So, she does definitely have her signature style. Um, we were able to see her sculpt live um, a few times where she started from a ball of clay and nothing and just went straight, you know, the whole time, like, live. Um in real life time and it was just really really cool um, to actually see that happen so one thing you could say you know she's sculpting <laughs> oh gosh yeah anyway so that's that but yeah hopefully you guys find one that you guys are really in love with too it's it's a beautiful feeling when you Especially when we spend so much money in this hobby and then to find, you know, one that you really like. <laughs> I'm going to hands just be like Frankenstein a little bit sometime. But um, I love the shape of her head, but I, she would be great for a painted hair, maybe, or definitely like softly rooted. I, I'm sure she'll look good with a head full of hair as well. But, yeah, I just like the shape of her head, so I would like to try to keep that kind of showing. I think I'm more, I'm less about the the frills and the, as I am about, I, about the sculpting. I think I'm more into, I like to see the sculpting on my dolls, which is why I love summertime, because they wear less clothes. <laughs> you can look at them more. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Oh, in the comment section, let me know how you know that that one baby in your collection is so different from the rest and is the one for you. <laughs>